Alright, so we are on our way to go do some shed hunting today. It's a little bit of a different video than we've been doing. Usually, you don't see me on camera. Usually it's Kent, but he is uh, predisposed, predisposed today. So you get me, and we're going to go check out an area for deer sheds. Could possibly be elk sheds there too, but I'm mainly looking for deer. We'll see what's out there. It's a bit of a cold day, about 28 degrees. Not getting much warmer, pretty, uh, pretty cloudy today. So we will see what happens. Here we are up at the shed hunting spot. It's a new spot I haven't tried out yet, but we're gonna see what it holds. It's a little cold, a little snowy, a little foggy, uh, but that's okay. I'm gonna walk up there and see what we find. This is kind of the area. We're gonna be going up in the mountains right there. See how foggy it is up there, but that's okay. Let's go see what we can find. It's not too bad of a day. Hopefully it doesn't get too cold. But I don't think so, because we're gonna be hiking around and whatnot. Um, the deer should be shedding their antlers around this time. It's February 27th, so they could have already shed. Some may have not, but it's about time. We're just gonna go check out the area, see what we can find. Hopefully we find something, but I'll take you along, see what we find. I don't know when the fire was, but I don't think this is the one from last summer. It could have been. I didn't know if it reached over here, but it's a pretty cool look just to see all these burnt trees and the white snow. Gives it a real cool contrasty look. So I'm just making my way up to the top of this mountain. Hopefully it's really cool on this side. It looks very um, very cloudy up there, so we'll see what happens, but let's go take a look. All right, I'm gonna start pushing up this mountain. I'll see you when I get to the top. It's gonna be fun in this snow. Here's my climb.
here, so about halfway up. It's been a pretty steep climb, but there's been plenty of deer tracks, so I know they're here. Plenty of sign. It's a little colder than I thought. Hands are a bit cold, but that's okay. We're gonna keep on pushing to the top. See what's on the other side. There's the top of there. And it's been pretty pretty steep. It looks pretty cool though with all the uh, with all the dead trees. All the burnt trees going up this hill in the snow. One thing I wanted to quickly talk about is um, if you plan on going shed hunting, just make sure you fill out your, uh, depending on what state you're from, but usually you have to fill out, you have to do like a, you have to get a license for shed hunting. So make sure you go, and I think you do a little exam, it's pretty easy, you fill that out. and Make sure you just take that with you when you go, because you don't want to get stopped or get in trouble for not having it. And you got to think about how small of an area you cover while you're shed hunting. I mean, there could be one just right off to your left, just barely out of view and you wouldn't know. And you just think about the vast area that they have to roam and shed, and you're only covering a tiny, tiny piece. I mean, you can look all the places you want, but it's just crazy that we even really find as many as we do. Because they have so much area to roam around in. And for chances of you to find this, you know, small shed that basically look like a stick just looks sitting there in the open. I mean, that's pretty crazy to think about the odds. Of course there's areas where you know they winter and it's, you know you're gonna find something but when you're going up an area like here and I have no idea if they were to even shed around here it'd be pretty crazy even to even find one yeah they were definitely just here it's pretty fresh and there's a fresh bed it's pretty beautiful back here though check out that mountain the fog, that's pretty cool up there. I'm a little out of breath, sorry. But snow's a little too deep to continue on. Not that I was meaning to kick elk out of their beds, but definitely be cool to find an elk shed. That's for sure. Alright, well, I'm starting to head back down now. It, it's getting pretty cold and windy and it's starting to snow. Now it's getting real cold up there. I was up flying the drone and I had it way up by the mountains. And my fingers and hands are getting numb. So I'm heading back down now. Fingers are getting real cold and so I'm about to head I'm heading down now. And I'll see you at the bottom. Alright, well, almost made it down to the truck. It's just down there. I was up way up behind this mountain. There's the foggy mountain up there. It's beautiful up here. But I didn't find any sheds. But that's okay. It's a good hike. I was glad to get out. Get some fresh air. That's what it's all about, really. I was just glad to be able to hike around. I think this is going to be a really good area. I found a lot of tracks. I don't think I videoed any of them, but they're definitely up here. Kick some elk out of their beds. So I think this is going to be a good area, maybe in a couple weeks. Could it be now. I just didn't stumble upon any sheds. But that's okay. We have a, we have a lot of exciting content. They're excited to show you. So if you wanna if you wanna find your way back, 
We have a lot more videos planned. Please subscribe. Uh, I know you hear that from every YouTuber, but we're trying really hard to make things happen. We have a lot of hunts planned this year. We're putting in for a lot of tags. It's going to be real fun. I'm going to video everything. Hopefully make something out of this. So I appreciate you watching. I really do. I know it probably wasn't the most exciting video to watch, but I'll try to make it a little cinematic for you. We'll see what I can do with the footage, but thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next one.